Hey guys! Welcome to episode 116 of the We Are Yarn podcast. I'm going down to the drugstore, buy a big old skinny yarn. I'm going to knit me a kitten, even if you don't give a darn. Okay, so... I've been gone a long time. The last time I recorded, I think, when was it? Today is March something. 8th? Sunday, March the 8th. The last time I recorded, yeah, was January the 15th. So I'm almost, almost at, I guess, six weeks, right? Is that six weeks? Seven weeks? And I first want to apologize for that. Um, it was not planned. I did try to record several times, but just wasn't filling up to it because there's going to be a baby in Casa de Way. I know, right? Um, it was kind of one of these things, not really planned, not prevented sort of deals, and so it took us by surprise, and I've been, I have not had an easy pregnancy at all. Um, um, I've been very fatigued, which I know is normal, but I've also been, had uncommonly severe morning sickness, nausea, um, I'm on medicine for it, I also have breakthrough medicine for it, <laughs> um, I just had to increase my dose today of my, like, maintenance nausea medicine, <laughs> it's been awful, I have felt so bad. And guys, I didn't want to knit. I couldn't knit. All I could do was either sleep or sit on the couch and watch TV. So that's why you haven't seen me. I haven't been around Ravelry that much. I haven't been knitting that much. I just went to my knitting group for the first time today since, oh my gosh, before Christmas probably. Um, so that's where I've been. Um, I guess that increase in the nausea medicine has helped me because today I'm feeling really good so I was like I need to sit down talk to my friends let you guys know I'm not dead um, Mr. Mandy Cat did want to say he is taking at least partial credit for that whip <laughs> so there it is there it is that's my big crazy news so um, I don't want to get into it any more than that um, but there it is. Let me talk about some things that I've been knitting. You'd think I'd been knitting baby things, but um, I haven't really. Um, I tried to start a baby blanket. I started a dogwood out of some organic cotton that I've been kind of squirreling away that I always had intended to make something for a baby out of. I just never expected it to be my own. So, um, yeah, and I knit a couple of rows on that dogwood, and it, it just, I wasn't feeling it. I think I'm going to rip that out, honestly, and um, just make, like, a giant Granny's Favorite dishcloth blanket and just be done with that and be happy with that. Um, but thank you guys so much for a hanging in here. Um, for all of your kind messages and all of your, um, for lack of a better term, are you dead emails. <laughs> I really, that was, that's been really sweet. I'm glad I was flattered that you guys, um, were thinking of me so much. So, also, have you been to the Ravelry board for We Are Yarn? Um, a thread was started about how you guys are doing on your 2015 goals and you guys are knocking it out of the park. I can't even remember what my goals are. Of course, they've changed a lot. Um, but <laughs> keep it up. I'm so excited about it for you guys. Um, I guess I should say too, before you all ask, September 22nd. Yes, I am signed up to go to Into the Wool. Yes, that is the first week of September. Um, yes, I am 
35, so I'm technically a high-risk pregnancy. I'll be 36 when I give birth, so I get, get to go do all the high-risk stuff. Um, but I have cleared it with my doctor. I said I have a women's knitting retreat that I'm going to, that I've signed up for at the beginning of September, and I really want to go. She was like, yeah, I have a friend that's an OB out there. I'll give you a copy of your records, her card, and you'll be okay. It's fine. That's fine. So, me and my big old belly are going to be at Into the Wool in September. Um, if I understand correctly, there are still a few spots open. So, there's a group specifically for that, Into the Wool. It's being coordinated by the most beautiful women in the world. Um, Dana of Unwind Yarn Company and Just One More Row Podcast. Um, Wendy of uh, Sassy Pants Knitter Podcast and Daniela and Allie of the um, Caffeinated Knitting Podcast. The four of those women are working really hard to make you guys an awesome retreat. So if you are on the line interested, know that there are, last I heard, a few spots left. So go on and jump in. The time for your first payment has already passed, so when you sign up, you will be expected to go ahead and send that check in. But, um, yeah. I think those are all my announcements. What do you think? Let's talk about some knitting. I finished, before my knitting mojo went out the window, I finished a lovely pair of socks. Finish my Time Travelers. So this was the Knit Picks Belici. And um, this is the Colorway Time Traveler that came back as kind of a limited edition there when they decided to bring Felici back for a few days. Um, I controlled myself. This, is, this was the only colorway I ordered. <laughs> I still have quite a bit to work on. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. This, um, I will say, because my ability to focus when I'm not at work, I, you know, I have to put all of my strength into focusing at work, so I don't, may not do that a whole lot at home. Um, the editing is going to be minimal. My show notes are probably going to be next to non-existent, but everything I talk about, I'm still pretty hardcore about keeping up to date on my Ravelry page, project page. Anything I talk about, all of this information is all available on my project page. My name on Ravelry is Mandy Cat. M-A-N-D-I-K-A-T. Did I, did I tell you that already? No. And I'm Amanda. You can call me Amanda. Or Mandy. Or Mandy Cat. I'll take any of those. Anyway, so I have linked, I can't quite remember, it was a knitty pattern for a pair of socks and I um, lifted this um, cable and lace pattern which is reminiscent of a TARDIS and I believe it's the same pattern used on some of the uh, Tommy Wommy, is it the Tommy Wommy cowl? I think it's the same pattern on that. Um, but yeah, I just did my usual toe, um, just increase until it fit, right? And then this is a um, Fish Lips Kiss Heel, which I did work from the other end of the ball so that I didn't upset the striping on the top. You will notice I did not try to make the stripes match up, but I did because these are all very distinct stripes with, and they're all exactly the same size, I felt like it would stand out where if I used, if I just went on with the heel. So, um, I worked from the other end of the ball for the heel. I made the cuff, the leg and the cuff, the same length as my foot. And they have been sitting back here on these sock blockers probably since mid-January, end of January. Um, I haven't gotten to wear them yet because I hadn't shown them to you in their beautiful, pristine condition. But there they are. 
all right uh, also I finished some spinning I finished this spinning probably early probably about mid January and I have not had the mojo or strength to sit up and spin so I have not but this was from Gail's art this is the Velvet Elvis if you remember what I was working on way back in the day I'm pretty pleased with it I expected it to have did I wash it I don't even think I've washed it yet guys I think I just took it off the wheel and twisted it up um, I was expecting there to be a bit more um, distinct color differences in the barber pulling, but I'm still happy with it. The f aforementioned ladies, uh, Wendy, Daniela, and Allie, are all on a, a wheat scarf kick, and um, I think this may make a pretty wheat, about 10 can knits. I should probably get it soaked and thwacked and dried and then we'll discuss what it may be. <laughs> so those are my two finished objects for now. So as my knitting, as my, when I was so so sick before we got the medicine and everything was getting to where my body was feeling, I was feeling like I was in control of my body again. Um, a few times I was able to pick up and work on my radiating star blanket. Uh, did I write down? I did not write down who wrote this pattern, but I think I have it right here. Alexis Layton. It's a free pattern. And I'm going all the way with this. There is um, kind of an extension so you work the pattern and then she gives you instructions for how to make it even bigger going all the way making it bigger and this is out of some very ancient stash some lion suede and it's getting pretty massive it's worked in the round and I believe it's been so long since I podcasted Yes. Before I got sick, I would picked it up and worked several, several rows. But that's how much I've done. So from here, hold up. Can you see that? I don't remember what size needles I'm on. I can't even see the dangly bit. There's the dangly bit. What am I doing wrong here? I'm going the wrong direction is what I'm doing wrong. There we go. <laughs> so you can see there, I'm out of practice. What can I say? But you can see I've done quite a bit. It's pretty darn big around right now. There are eight repeats of the pattern. No, yeah, 50 times eight. So 400, it's 400 stitches around right now, plus. So I've been working on that ever so slowly. Um, it got to where even though this is a simple lace pattern, it was still too much for me. So that's kind of been set aside in um, favor for what's running around in one of my new bags. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of shopping. But when Deb of Fondant Fiber posted this bag, on Instagram I had to have so in a new bag is riding around my see you in September this is a knit along for into the wool anything that reminds you of September so of course see you in September um, I'd actually discovered this pattern last year April or May maybe June and um, I got real excited about it and wanted to use it with this yarn and I, I was told then it's like wait for the knit along it's like okay <laughs> so um, here's what I have done and when my mojo started coming back this was simple enough that I was really able to 
knock out quite a bit of it with um, minimal thought process. So it's these twisted lines of twisted stitches on a reverse stockinette background. I am using, because it was already balled up, I'd also thought about using my um, Into the Wool Special Edition from Unwind Yarn Company. But since this was already balled up, I'm using the uh, Fibro Fibers, not Fall, in the Into the Wool colorway from last year. So that's Smith Nightfall here. And this has 490 yards. I thought I had a brown that was very similar to that brown in the middle that I was going to use on the end and make the 600 yard version of this shawl. It's either 420 or 600 yards. I wanted to make the big one. However, I had forgotten that earlier this year um, a lovely fellow Raveler had messaged me and asked if I had any of that brown left because she was making some socks for her husband. That dyer is now no longer in business. And um, did I have any left over? I said, yeah, I'll send you what I got. So that's gone. Um, so now I'm back up to do, and I'm going to have to do the small version, 420 yards. Oh, you know, I hadn't thought to ask Jen if she could, um, of, not, of Fibro Fibers, if she could special dye me up 100 yards, 120 yards of that brown. Maybe I should message her tonight before I forge ahead with that. I think I'll do that. That's always an option, right, to see if the dyer, if they're still in business, can make you more. I'm going to do that. Well, I had not thought about that. Okay. So I'm going to do that. It's on, um, so yeah, See You in September by Rose Beck. I'm doing that on a U.S. buff. So. It's fondant fiber bag. I'm, I also cast on with um, the lovely Silly Fru a Piper's Journey because, again, I needed something real mindless, something that I could just try to really get back into the flow with. Um, I've really missed knitting so much. And I've been so sad that I haven't been able to. But, so this is the Piper's Journey by Miss um, Paula Emmons Feasley of the Prairie Piper podcast. I realized that I'd actually written down Prairie Piper instead of Piper's Journey when I was writing my show notes. I have that in my sushi bag because it is going to get pretty big. I have three 200-yard uh, balls of this beautiful yarn. So this is a Surrey Alpaca and Sparkle Blend from Yarn Hollow Surrey Alpacas. So if you don't know the difference, um, you know, there are two different kinds, well, at least two different kinds of alpaca that I'm aware of. I'm sure there are more. But, um, Surrey, which is the, which are these guys, and Wakaya, starts with an H, H, I, uh, I can't, H, I, uh, C, U, A, Y, A, maybe. But so, the Wakaya are the cotton ball alpacas. They're just a big poof. And they get the big poof on their head. Um, Surrey alpacas are the like ringlet alpacas with the big old long ringlet slick smooth curls. So this is Surrey alpaca. Um, and like you would think it is very slick. Uh, it's been real interesting to work with. Um, it's different than other alpacas that I've worked with, so I guess most of everything else that I've worked with up until now have been the wakaya. But, that's your mini lesson for the day. But this is from Long Hollow, Surrey Alpacas. This is what they call Razzle Dazzle 4. So it's a sport weight, which is what the pattern calls for, is a sport weight. And, um, yeah, it's the Surrey with a twist of sparkle. So I'm working this on a US 6. 
Now that I'm studying this tag more while I'm talking to you, this is local. This is from Gallatin, Tennessee, and it is processed um, by New Era Fiber, which is in Gallatin. Long Hollow, I believe, is also in that area. Um, it says to work needle size 3 to 5, and I am using a 6 as the pattern called for. And I'm on the fence about how I'm liking the way it's turning out so far. It just looks like a big jumbled mess right now. It's a little squishy. Again, it's different than any other alpaca I've worked with. It doesn't, it just doesn't, I don't know. I've now worked on it a couple of hours at home, maybe two or three hours at home, and then a couple of hours at knitting group today. And um, I'm at the point now where I gotta decide if I'm happy with this or not. And it just, the way it's, it looks just uneven and I'm afraid that when I block it, it won't block out to just be real pretty. But I did, when I bought this yarn, I bought it with the intent of making this shawl. And I think maybe me just getting back into this, being out of practice and getting back into the swing of it, maybe I'm just not making my stitches real even. I can't decide. What do you think? The problem is with my other shawl, I'm at, the, at a lacy point where I'm going to have to do the little leaf motif. I wish I had a picture to show you, but I don't. But it has that twisted stitch with the... Um, on the background of the um, reverse stockinette and then a line of leaves and then you do the same thing again with the twisted stitches and then another line of leaves at the bottom and I'm at a leaf section so I'll have to actually pay attention a little bit I might could do that this afternoon uh oh well maybe not I'm starting to yawn <laughs> that medicine that I take maintenance makes me a little tired and since I've increased my dose I have been a little more tired today than in the last week or two but yeah well, you know the more I think about it that will block out won't it I think it might I think once I let it put it in water and let all the stitches kind of even out it'll be I don't think I have another set of size fives anyway, so we'll just go ahead with the sixes. We're doing it. So those are the three projects that I've really been working on um, as I can. And like I said, I'm so glad my mojo is starting to come back. Um, it's been really cold here in East Tennessee. I got to sleep over at my hospital twice this year. That was a lot of fun. Not so much. Um, and to try to conserve energy, I've had the, um, I've had my craft room closed and had all the vents in here blocked off so that, you know, a room that I'm not really using, we're not trying to heat. And um, it's nice to be back in here. It's, it's supposed to be 67 degrees today, though. And it's so beautiful outside. After I'm done here, I'm going out. All right. So then I have a couple of acquisitions to tell you about. How long have I been talking? 24 minutes, it's perfect. I've been talking the perfect amount of time. Um, so along with this bag, I also got the big bag. Yeah. So that's pretty exciting. And um, I couldn't pay for shipping across the pond, right? and just get bags. So I uh, um, threw in a little bag of her, um, what does she call these? Fuzzlings. They're her fuzzlings. So these are little bats of all different colors. So I got some green and blue there and a black and purple and an orange and uh, gray. Yeah, see they're just fun. Fun, fun. So all sorts of different interesting things there. So that'll be fun to spin up. And um, 
Deb, I think I'm just going to call this a uh, baby gift. Is that okay? Because <laughs> she also sent some of this uh, merino kid mohair and mulberry silk in the joy colorway. Oh, and I hadn't opened it up yet. Wow, that's soft. That's nice. Oh. And I think, very honestly, what I'm going to do with this. Maybe one option that I can do with this is to separate out those bright greens and yellow from the blue and make um, some mittens with um, some color work mittens. Yeah? That's what I thought of immediately when I opened this, Deb. I hope you're, hope you're good with it. But I'm excited about it. And also came, you know, I got a nitpick, not nitpicks, I got a nitpicks catalog, but I just pretty much throw those away. Is there a way to get off their mailer list? Because I feel like I'm killing trees. I mean, I'm not, you know, just big time hippie out hugging the trees and whatever, but it feels wasteful. Is there a way to get off that list? But I also got, I have not taken this out of the package either. I'm sorry for the wrestling if that's a thing that you have a problem with. I don't. But. So I am a proud sponsor of the Kickstarter um, for Twist Fiber Studio. Look at that beautiful logo she has. Twist Fiber Studio. She sent me a coupon code for the year to use in her shop. And I have her little card. And I got, I don't even remember what the name of this set was. Um, now that I've seen everybody, I'm starting to catch up. I haven't even been able to watch podcasts. I know, right? I just, I couldn't. I couldn't. Um, I'm beginning to wish I'd gotten everyone but this one grass is always greener on the other side right um but I did I thought this was going to be a little more blue than the purple it's still beautiful I'm not complaining um oh Evelyn so this is the Evelyn colorway of her fiber very subdued and real pretty I think it'll be nice for spring and then this was the bag I think I was expecting more green and blue. Honestly, something more along that line. Not complaining though, what I got was beautiful. And the bag is very well made. Now that I'm out, have it out and holding it in my hand. It does have some interfacing in it. it has her cute little logo tag. And it has blue on the inside. And it's a little wedge bag. So there that is. So that has been my weeks since I've seen you last. Um, again, I'm so sorry for my absence and I really have in my moments where I could do more, where I could lift my head, I've, um, I've really missed you guys. And I did write show notes once, eh, probably about a month ago. It's like I'll write show notes today, I can record a little bit tomorrow, and then a little bit the next day, I don't have to do it all at one time. And it just, it didn't happen. <laughs> but I'm glad to be back with you now. And now that I'm really looking at my camera, am I a little lopsided? Does it look like I'm leaning? I guess, <laughs> I'm sorry about that if I am. Um, like I said, getting back in the saddle, I have some saddle sores right now. <laughs> so, I'm so glad to see you guys. I hope where you are, the weather is turning and it's beautiful. Um, God knows I'm done with the ice and the snow and the 
am I going to be able to make it to work? And then once I get there, will I be able to make it home that night? I'm sick of worrying about that. Um, I'm glad it's spring. Not officially spring, but close. Did you remember to set your clock ahead this morning? I almost did. I got very confused because my clock said one thing and my iPad said something different. <laughs> I'm going to go, guys. Um, have a great day. And I hope that in a week to two weeks, I'm feeling well enough to sit here and talk to you again. I just can't wait to finish I got the kitten in blues No, I just can't wait to finish That's why I got those kitten in blues <laughs>